today we're going to be creating a new Laravel project. As you can see, I'm running Mac OS X Catalina. I'm going to go and open up Safari. I'm here on Google.com. And we're going to just search for Laravel. And the first thing that pops up is Laravel.com. Go ahead and click on that. And this brings us to Laravel's home page. We're going to jump over to documentation. And the first page of documentation is the installation instructions. Um, as you can see, they cover some of the server requirements, installing Laravel, configuration, and then web server configuration. We're going to bypass the web server configuration today and just use the built-in PHP server environment with PHP Artisan Serve. So we can scroll down to installing Laravel. Um, you can use Composer to install the Laravel installer and then use the Laravel new command. But since we're using Composer for all of our dependency management, we can use Composer to also install a new Laravel project. Then I'm going to open up Terminal, and as you can see, I'm in the home directory for my Scripster user account. The very end of this blog, this is going to be the name of the directory that the project is installed into. I'm going to leave it as blog for right now, but you could rename this to anything that you want to call your project. Go ahead and press enter to install. And there we go. The Laravel project has been created. As you can see, an application key was set successfully. We'll talk about that a little later on, probably in a later video. But to see that this project was created, we're going to type ls for list files and hit enter. And we can see that we now have a blog directory. Uh, let's switch over into that directory, cd space blog enter, and type ls again to view the files in that directory. And these are all the files and directories that make up the new Laravel application. So if we scroll down, I said earlier we would use the local development server, PHP's built-in development server, with the command php artisan serve. So let's go ahead and type that in, php artisan serve, and go ahead and press enter. And that started the Laravel development server at port 8000. So if you go and copy that and open up a new tab and paste that in, we have successfully installed a new Laravel project. Hopefully that went as smooth for you as it did for me. If you have any comments or questions, if you ran into any snags, post them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer any questions.